This bulky bundle that I'm holding in a very precarious manner is the Holy Trinity of Lenses. And this is my recommendation to have as a basic kit to anyone who's in the photography or videography world. This is my recommendation to all the people who ask me which lens to buy, whether it be in the past, in the present, and in the future. What is up you guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the holy trinity of lenses, responding the everlasting question of which lens to buy. Now, the holy trinity of lenses, I know it's a term from the Bible, but today we're referring to these three zoom lenses that are gonna take us from landscape photography all the way to telephoto photography. So we're starting out with the wide angle. And in this case, we have the zoom. This is the 17 to 28 from Tamron, let's wait until this is in focus. Yep, there we are. But in essence, it could be a 16 to 35 from other camera brands or any focal distance in the wide angle ranges. And in essence, this lens is gonna help us to take landscape photography when we want to capture all the environment in a single frame, or maybe want to take interior photography where, it, well, it's a very tight spot, maybe architecture photography. And it's also great for video. At 17 or 16 mil, you can basically vlog with it. It's the lens that I use for that because you capture yourself and all your surroundings with it. Also, you can zoom in to 24 mil, which is a classical focal distance for videography, or even to 35 or 28, depending on your lens, to take more close-up shots or even portraits. So this lens is very versatile. I use it all the time. Then in the other extreme, we have a telephoto lens. In this case, I have a 70 to 180 from Tamron, but it could be a 70 to 200 or a 100 to 400, depending on your needs. This telephoto lens is a great option if you maybe want to do some sport photography and you can't be on the pitch with the athletes. Maybe you want to take photos of a bird and you don't want to scare it or a lion or anything that you want to be away from your subject and not interfering in the scene. For example, I use it so much for street photography to distance myself from the scene and not to affect the subject by me just pointing a giant camera in their face. So this very versatile telephoto lens is great to distance yourself from the scene and take beautiful telephoto photography or video and also if you pair it with a teleconverter or with the APS-C mode in your camera, you can just basically multiply by 1.5 the focal distance. And in essence, here I have a 270 mil. This is just a great range. Okay, so we've covered wide angle and also telephoto. Where does this guy come in? The 24 to 70. Now, the 24 to 70 is a jack of all boxes. This is a great lens for all types of photography and video. This one covers a bit of wide angle at 24 mil, where you can capture landscape shots and also video work. Then at 50 mil, you can capture some very nice portrait, very natural looking portraits without any distortion. Basically, 50 mil, 45 mil is the focal distance that our eyes are accustomed to seeing. Then you go over to 70 mil for a short telephoto and capture very nice images with very nice creamy bokeh. So this lens is an all terrain. If you can't buy all these three, three lenses, I would recommend to start off with this one because you can do basically a bit of everything. Also, if you don't want to switch lenses all the time and you're in a busy situation, I recommend to have this one on because well, you can cover a wide variety of focal distances with just one lens. Okay, all these three lenses that I have are f2.8 aperture, meaning that they let a lot of light into the sensor. You can also get them in f4 versions, but I would recommend to get it with the fastest aperture possible. And also you can see that all these three lenses are not from a single camera brand. That's just my personal choice. Maybe if you're rich, you can go for the Sony ones, the G Master or the Canon RF lenses. In this case, I have some Tamron and some Sigma. They're basically the same, but I'm compromising maybe a bit of the build quality or maybe this one is a bit too heavy compared to the Sony version. Or this one doesn't go all the way to 35 but in, in exchange, I'm saving a lot of money. So these three lenses are just my personal preference. And on another note, in this video, I'm talking about the Holy Trinity for zoom lenses, but you can also get a similar kit with prime lenses. Let's say that you're not so fond of the 2.8 apertures. You can get maybe instead of a 17 to 28 or 16 to 35, you get maybe a 20 mil 1.4, which is a great lens. Then instead of the standard zoom lens, you get a 50 mil 1.2. Instead of the telephoto lens, you get maybe an 85 1.4 or 135 1.8, which are great options. The point is, is by having this three piece kit, you can basically cover all types of photography and videography that comes your way. A wide angle, a standard lens, and then a telephoto lens, and you're basically ready to go. Now, if you're interested in more videos from me, you can check out the playlist over here for gear, and also the l -like series, which is where we break down the styles of famous photographers and videographers, and also here's my shop in case you wanna check it out. I'll see you in the next one, guys.